हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम करीम एंड वेलकम टू यू क्लास सेवंथ ट्यूटोरियल्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर शेयरिंग इज केयरिंग वी ऑल माइट हैव हर्ड दिस सेइंग मेनी टाइम्स इट इज वेरी ट्रू इन टुडेज वर्ल्ड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी शेयरिंग इज नॉट ओनली केयरिंग Sharing is cost saving, sharing is time saving, sharing is energy saving and much more. Benefits of sharing are many. This sharing is the basic purpose of computer networking. In pre-network days, data sharing happened by printing out a document or copying it to disk. But it wasn't efficient. development of networks not only made data sharing but also hardware and software sharing easy and efficient therefore to efficiently share and communicate it is essential for us to understand the basic concepts of a network a computer network is a group of computers linked together to share resources and communication Benefits of a computer network are Networks help save cost and time. Network users can easily share data files using the network. Networks facilitate sharing of devices such as printers, scanners, hard drives and more. Sharing hardware is not possible without computer networks. Computer networks also help in sharing software applications. Networks help users to communicate easily with others. Network users can also play online games together from different geographical locations. Components of computer network connected via telephone cables are Sender's computer, sender's modem. A modem is an electronic device that converts a digital signal to analog using its modulator and analog signal to digital using its demodulator. Thus, a modem facilitates the transmission of data to and from a computer via telephone cables or other communication lines. Communication channels are connecting cables. Twisted pair cables, coaxial cables, optical fiber are the different types of cables. Fiber optic cables have replaced coaxial cables as the backbone of the telephone network because they can hold many simultaneous phone conversations thousands at a time and are less susceptible to interference. crosstalk and noise optical fiber transmits signals over longer distances with high bandwidth at high speeds with services video conferencing and interactive services the components of computers network connected via telephone cables at the receiver's end are receiver's modem receiver's computer Digital signals from a sender's computer get converted into analog signals by a sender's modem. These analog signals are carried by telephone cables to a receiver's modem which converts the analog signals back to digital signals and then passes it to the receiver's computer. There are three basic types of network Local area network LAN connects computers within a relatively small area such as a school, library or office building. These networks are small networks. Metropolitan area network MAN is larger than LAN. MAN spreads over few areas of a city or the entire city. Wide area network WAN is larger than MAN and LAN. 
Van spans over large geographic areas such as a state or a country or across countries. There are other networks such as Personal Area Network PAN, Campus Area Network CAN, Global Area Network GAN. The internet was created by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA and the US Department of Defense for scientific and military communications. The internet is a network of interconnected networks. It is a WAN network. Let us now understand the backbone of the internet. Computers in the internet are not directly connected to one another. Instead, computers in smaller networks are connected to a primary high-speed interconnecting structure called backbone. This backbone enables a user on any network to exchange data with any other user. Let us now understand how the internet functions. Messages from a sender's computer are divided into small parts called packets. Each packet contains part of the message plus information on the sending and receiving machines and how the packet relates to other packets. Packets travel independently and possibly on different routes through the internet. Packets are reassembled into the message at the receiving machine. To make this information flow smoothly and securely, every computer and network on the internet follow the same set of rules and procedures of communications called protocols. The protocol used by the internet is Transmission Control Protocol, Internet Protocol, TCP, IP. TCP is responsible for converting messages into streams of packets at the source and reassemble the packets back into messages at the destination. IP is responsible for handling address and making sure the packets reach their destination traveling through multiple networks. Whatever type of computer you connect to the internet, only if it uses TCP, IP, it can exchange data with other computers. The internet is used for many purposes. Some of the uses of the internet are communications using email, messages, voice chat, video chat and social networking sites such as Facebook, advertisement and conducting business, general and educational information search, online gaming, shopping and trading, financial information sharing and online banking publishing documents, videos and music. The internet has a few disadvantages such as hackers, spam emails, viruses and malware. However, due to its many uses, Internet usage is growing very rapidly. Connectivity and speed are the two primary factors governing the choice of connection type. An Internet Service Provider ISP, can offer its clients many ways to connect to the Internet. The important types of Internet connections are Dial-up connection Broadband connection, wireless connection. Let us now learn about these important types of internet connections in detail. A dial up connection uses a phone line and a modem. The user must every time call the ISP access phone number to connect to the internet. The user cannot make or receive calls while connected to the internet. 
This connection is inexpensive but slow. Broadband connections are faster than dial-up connections and are available in the following three main platforms. 1. DSL connection 2. Cable modem connection 3. Satellite connection A digital subscriber line DSL uses a dedicated digital connection line along with a phone line. This is more expensive and its speed depends upon the distance between the ISP and user modem. In cable modem connections, the internet is connected through a cable TV's coaxial cable. This is fast but not available everywhere. Satellite connections connect to the internet via satellite in Earth orbit. It is slow but available even in remote areas. Wireless connections use radio frequency to connect to the internet. It offers an always on connection that can be accessed from anywhere as long as the user is within the network coverage area. Wi-Fi and Wi-Max are the common ways to connect to the internet wirelessly. Let us summarize what you have learnt in this video.